because I can't get in this defended base. And he's calling me a, wow, I don't know how he got that to show up, but he's calling me a girl because he, I don't want to attack. And there's good reason not to attack. He's got spine crawlers and spore crawlers and roaches and zerglings. And see, now he's getting kind of angry because my army would not be able to fight his. I think he's trying to entice me in there. He is throwing down another hatchery, so he's definitely not necessarily wanting to expand, but he wants this game over with. He's also throwing down a Hydralis Den. Let's see what's happening back at my base. Oh, yeah, no saturation. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, see, I only have 24 harvesters. I should have about 50 at this point. That would probably cover good saturation at both my natural and my main, but oh, we're not going to look at that right now. <laughs> He's sending out a few Zerglings. I'm getting Banglings for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. And that was not the most economical use of Banglings. By the way, I love the death animation for Zerglings. When they get killed by Banglings, they're like, And they just all die. And this guy's being a wuss. Like he said, I was being and sending out one Roach uh, after he sent out the Zerglings. So apparently, oh, I was going to say, now he's sending out two Roaches. He is just feeding me, man. I think he was trying to get rid of those banglings, which, may I remind you, do almost no damage to roaches. Because they are armored, and banglings do damage versus light. Let's see, I'm I'm trying to see what damage I can do, but there's there's really not much damage I can do against all these spore crawlers. I'd need a lot of mutas to uh, do anything to that. Here he goes, he's moving out towards my zerglings. This is not a good engagement for me. I need to pull out right away. What am I doing? I cannot do anything here. I'm pulling out finally. Here come my mutas. He has to run back into his base. My zerglings are coming back in to try and get some pot shots. Let's see how much damage I can do to him. Oh, but I pull out right at the last second. I don't know. Have I seen this hydralis den yet? Yes, I in fact have. So this is not necessarily good for me because he's getting the counter to the unit that's keeping me in my game. He is countering my mutas, and this muta has two kills. He's a pre predator. Of course, uh, all these guys are predators, so that's nothing new. <laughs> he finally decides to put down a creep colony. Okay, now that he's got his hydras. He's thinking about pushing out, and I'm still not doing very good macro-wise. That's probably why I was really close to losing this game. But let me tell you, you do not want to run a flock of mutalisks into an, an army of hydralisks. That is spelling sure doom for you. Here we go. I'm finally deciding to pick up another expansion. Uh, this one's at the gold, except that I don't have any workers, so I don't know. I don't know why I need to do this. I, I guess I'm trying to play like a pro, but yeah. Just another reminder. I did play this game a long time ago, and I have learned quite a bit from this. But here we go. He's just kind of macroing in his base. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm looking at some uh, things from McDonald's. You know, that win prize, whatever you want to call it, like a raffle kind of. And it's so ridiculous. Like, if you want to win a small McFlurry, like I, I got one of those uh, one of those little peel-off things that lets me win a McFlurry. And I have to, like, put in my phone number and register with my... Uh, email address and put in my phone number I said that already oh let me think put in my phone number bunch of other stuff like oh there we go address that's whatever I'm just gonna shut up and get to this game here we go he is pushing out I do not have I mean I have a large flock of mutas but that is not gonna fight all these hydras he's pushing out to my base I'm gonna see what kind of economic damage I can do to him or at least try and kill him while I Ooh, voice crack uh, kill him while he's hunting down me. Here we go. He's going to shoot down one of my overlords. If I lose this overlord, then I'm going to be out of supply. I am out of supply. Wouldn't you know it? And now I'm pushing into his base. I'm going to focus down the queen, apparently, and then the spore colonies. And he is pulling back to try and defend his base. I guess he's not. He's being very indecisive right now. I would like to point out no speed upgrade for his roaches. And he does have the range upgrade for his Hydras. I am killing his base right now, but he's coming down to kill my base. I have no base defenses. All I have are these Zerglings that are running away to go kill his base. This is so bad for me. This is not the kind of army you want to see in, in coming towards you. I have one spine crawler, actually a two, but they are not going to be able to hold off all these units. And now my, my Mutas are going in and killing his base. This is looking terrible for me. Another voice crack. That is an awesome animation, let me tell you. I'm not even on the highest settings. 
and roaches do so much damage to spine crawlers. He's moving in to kill everything of mine. I'm trying to pull my drones off for some reason, and they're just getting owned by the hydras. Owned. And these hydras uh, have a lot of kills combined. He's taking down my my uh, natural, but here we go. I'm coming in and killing his base. This is so much chaos in his base right now. I'm killing all these hydralisks. And all these sport crawlers give me trouble, so I'm moving my zerglings in. But here he comes from my main base. Does he know about my gold? Oh, there's so much lag. He does know about my gold. There's a drone there. This is so bad for me. <laughs> He's moving in so many forces. All my mutalists are running away to go kill his base. It is looking so hopeless. He's coming in to kill my... Oh, no, my lair. This is not good for me. And my Banglings Nest, there will be no more Banglings coming out for me, or anything for that matter. He did skip over these two extractors, hoping I'm going to leave the game. But I'm going to now focus down his lair like like a boss, I guess. Oh man, he's got Zerglings coming out to counter my Zerglings because he does not have the Hydralis Den anymore. But my Mutas are going to kill off his Zerglings. That means that I cannot do as much damage to him anymore. And he's killed off all my buildings except for these two extractors and this hatchery. And let's see... He, is, he does have a drone over here. I have not killed any of his base. Uh, keep in mind, I do still have these two extractors and this, uh, this hatchery. And I do have a drone over here. I'm going to think about putting an extractor right there, trying to hide it as long as I can. I'm killing the rest of his base, but he is putting up an extractor in my base. This is getting so ridiculously close. He kills my other expansion. All I have are three extractors. Nothing left there on the army tab. Let's see. He is way ahead, 44 supply, he's going to come back, try and kill my mutas, but I kill his two extractors, and here we go, the last final stand, I have two extractors, three extractors, may I mind you, he is going to try and, he, he doesn't know what to do, he has to uh, defend against his extractor, but he is not going to, my mutas are going around his army, he does not realize I'm over here, <coughs> I am praying, I am saying LOL, this is the weirdest game I've ever played. This reminds me of some pro games, but here we go, can I kill this? Oh, it's looking like I can, he's sending half his army over here and half his army over here. My mutas are coming to kill his extractor, this is all he has left, if he loses this, I win! And here we go, let's see him rage on, he says, oh actually I say GG, and he says no bleeping way. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the power of mobility over army size. Sometimes you can manipulate yourself a win. Even though he did just kill this extractor, I did have two down here. And I'm actually going to back this up so you're not staring at that word. There we go. And <laughs> this is a very close game. Some things that I could have done better were get a lot more workers. Only... 30 workers for a 3 base zerg is not sufficient at all. You need to have much more than that. And something he could have done is actually throw down an expansion and probably get some speed upgrades and spread creep more so that he could get his slower ground units across the map a lot faster. But anyways, guys, GLHFGG, that marine wants you.